From Eurosports.com, I'm Scarlett, joined alongside Director of Track and Field Rochelle Black as the teams get ready to resume their season this weekend at the ETSU Invitational Coach. Uh, obviously, you're taking 25 student athletes, the biggest group of athletes you've taken uh, to a meet so far this season. So what are you hoping to see from your team? I just want to see how they come back in shape or not in shape uh, after the holiday season. We've had about a month since our last track meet, so just want to see how they perform. Again, the biggest, largest group that you've taken to a meet so far this season. It's been almost a month since you've competed at all. Um, so what are you hoping to see from some potential newcomers that haven't run yet this season? Uh, on the ladies' side, Brooke and Kylie stand out. Those are two distance ladies that I'd really like to see how they perform on the track. Uh, with the men, <clears throat> excuse me, with the men, I'd really like to see how Brandon does uh, for the start of his senior year. Uh, he's had some injuries, but I'm, I'm hoping that that's all behind him. This has obviously been a staple of the, the on the schedule for the track and field program, so there's a lot of familiarity there. How do you think that will benefit the team, uh, especially with this being the biggest group and this being the debut for a lot of your athletes? Well, several of the kids on the team, both uh, newcomers and uh, returners, are accustomed to running on this track, so uh, I don't worry about them. But for a lot of our kids, they still haven't been on an indoor track before, so this will be a little different for them. But I, I think we've prepared uh, pretty well over the past 10 days since they've come back. Again, this is really the start of a long stretch of the season for you guys in the indoor and then obviously the outdoor right behind that. So kind of what is the approach this weekend? Uh, similar to the first meet, it's a rust buster. Just see where they're at, kind of kind of assess the situation. And when we when we compete next weekend at the Birmingham Crossplex, that's where I'll really uh, start to turn up a little bit, see what we can do with other competitions. The ETSU Invitational takes place over at Johnson City on Friday and Saturday. The results will be posted on Friday and Saturday at www.lmurespers.com. For Coach Black, I'm Scott Rowland, and this is lmurespers.com.